the sunlight plays upon her hair. But you like this song so much when it gets warmed up. Oh, yeah. Right? <laughs> Fun can be a hard thing to find for seniors living with Alzheimer's disease and other forms of dementia, as well as their caregivers. But fun is exactly what musical biographies, a program designed by Villa Musica founder Dr. Fiona Chatwin, delivers. I had a feeling that music was in a different part of the brain than memories of people's names and dates and all the things that go when dementia kicks in. Music elicits responses in emotional memory. And emotional memory is a kind of memory that is intact much, much longer into neurodegenerative disease processes. Dr. Christina Gelati is the manager of the University of California at San Diego's Shiley Marcos Alzheimer's Disease Research Center. We want to serve the whole person, to really focus on the socialization, to focus on the reminiscence, the sensory stimulation of the music and the memories that the music elicits. Bob, see, eldest and my sister is this one here. All of the adults that come in create a book that is filled with memories and photographs and textiles and color and words that pertain to key songs from their life. You and your pretty flowers. <laughs> After the program is complete, the family walks away with this scrapbook that's created so that the individual can continue to look through the book and listen to the playlist and continue with that reminiscence and have a, an ongoing meaningful activity that they can engage in. The caregivers often don't get to do anything fun with the person who has dementia. I mean, they're often taking them to the doctor, to this appointment and that appointment and support groups and all of the things. And it feels like everything they do is to the person or for the person. But they do very little with the person together, just for fun. I can see her when she comes, she, uh, she smiles. Gabriela Manrique says Musical Biographies has given her a sense of validation of her efforts caring for her mother. For me, it I, I just kind of confirms the fact that there's things that one can do for a person with Alzheimer's disease and, and she reacts differently. We've had a couple of people, you know, we, we ask them what kind of music they like and they can't tell you because it's a verbal thing. But then when you play the music, it's like something ignites in their body and then all of a sudden they remember the words of a song they haven't sung for 50 years. Now I'm a believer. Each of the caregivers in the Musical Biographies program fill out surveys to help gauge the effects of the sessions on their loved one's level of engagement, emotional states, and self-esteem. Those surveys are also used to adjust the program to ensure that it is meeting the needs of those living with Alzheimer's and other forms of dementia. So far, the results seem really positive. The participants have all really enjoyed the experience and they have indicated that they would recommend the program to others. I've had caregivers tearing up and crying because they haven't seen their person, you know, living with AD, you know, smile and laugh and dance and do all this fun stuff for so long that they've forgotten that side of the person because the person is so much work. And it's just so, it's so special in that regard. Oh, <laughs> 